causes anxiety and sleep issues? I'm Dr. Trish Lee. I'm going to answer that question for you. On this slide, I am showing you the QEEG brain map pattern for anxiety and sleep problems. I'm going to go through it with you now because it, it is the key to understanding why you don't sleep at night because your brain is running hot all day long. Okay, so let's break it down. I'm sorry, my head's in the way of where it would say theta and alpha here, but these are basically the five main brain speeds. Delta is extra slow brain speed. It is what shifts, not shifts you, but it is what keeps you in sleep. Theta is slow brain speed. It shifts you into sleep. So at nighttime when you're feeling groggy, theta increases, it shifts you into sleep mode, delta keeps you there. So on this brain map, you can see on the color legend that these blue colors are in the minus. When we see dark blue, it is minus three levels of sleep mode working at night. So basically what this means is your brain is not able to shift into sleep, nor is it able to stay asleep to move through the sleep cycle. Now moving over to alpha, which is also low in relative power, that means that your brain is not able to chill and be calm during the day. The reason that is, is first and foremost, you can see all of this red over here and beta and high beta. Now high beta is that extra fast, high brain speed that creates anxiety and perpetuates it. This is the driving force of this brain map. So I'm always talking about who's driving the bus. High beta is driving the bus in this case. This means that your brain's running so hot all day long that there's no way it could fall asleep and that it could stay asleep. Now, I know what some of you are thinking. You're thinking, I fall asleep right away. You fall asleep right away because you're completely exhausted because your brain is not making it through the sleep cycle every night. So you are actually not getting restorative sleep. So if your system's just completely in adrenal fatigue, that's why you're just passing out but likely you're back up at 12 31 o'clock a.m. And that means that the first time in the sleep cycle when your brain should be shifting into slower theta and delta, slower modes, it wakes back up and you're toast for the rest of the night. So that's because adrenal fatigue will make it so you can fall asleep out of sheer exhaustion. Just a side point, it should take 15 or 20 minutes to fall asleep if your brain is healthy. So if you're falling asleep, in, in one second, you're exhausted, likely because of a pattern that looks like this. Okay, so back over here to high beta. He's driving the bus. This brain is running in overdrive mode. Now, a lot of people who use this pattern, they don't feel particularly anxious, which is not a good thing, obviously, because they're so used to running so hot that they can't even feel it anymore. So self-awareness is off. What we see here too is that beta focus mode is running high too. It's running extremely high in absolute power and it is running high in relative power. And you can see that down here, green, yellow, orange, and red is running too hot, too much magnitude of that speed. So what that means is this person's brain would be very difficult for it to get into calm focus during the day so that they could do their best work and feel better. My goal as a neurofeedback practitioner and a certified brain health coach is to help everybody understand that if you're stuck in overdrive mode and if you're feeling anxious and especially if you have insomnia or you can't sleep, your brain is not healthy. Now, I'm going to give you one tip. But if you cannot use this tip, it's likely that you would be an awesome candidate to have a home brain map. I can do brain maps at home now through our brain shift program. It's totally awesome. I'm making a playlist on it. So please check that out, home brain map playlist. Um, but I can see how your brain is running and then I can use neurofeedback at home through our home brain shift program. Using my online portal, you never have to leave your home. I can shift your brain out of this mode. But here's the tip. So the tip is that throughout your day, at once an hour if you can, once every two hours, if not, once every three hours if you must, once every hour, come away from what you are doing and let your brain come down. So once an hour, go for a three minute walk. Once an hour, if you're working at home, 
Go visit your family, let your brain come down. What that does is it will change the trajectory of how much this high fast speed is increasing across the day. So instead of it going like this and just ramping up across the day, it'll go like this. So the trajectory will be much lower here than here if you never took breaks throughout the day. Now, when you take a break, you can't troll Instagram, you can't go on Facebook. You literally have to be not really thinking. And for me, what I usually do is I cook and I'm not doing recipes that are new or hard. I'm just chopping vegetables. And if chopping vegetables, it's just mindless and it brings my brain down. Or I go visit with my fam squad, as they call themselves, my five beautiful children. We hang out. Literally, they usually talk about nothing. And I will engage in that nothingness for a little while. And then I'll go back to work. Do something like that. Try that for a few days, and if you can't use that technique and strategy, and if you're not getting sleep, then check out LeeBrainandSpine.com, which is my professional website for my private practice, and DrTrishLee.com, where I offer neuro coaching. They're very similar programs, but they're just a little different. Okay, now remember, control your brain or it'll control you.